Hi there. Thanks for tuning in to Make This Happen, where we discuss an idea we've been dying to see come alive. J.E. and myself, Alex Gonzalez, will bring you a product you never knew you needed. But also this week, we have a special guest, Cam Hawkins from Dual Shockers. You can find him at The Cinephile Guy. How are you doing today, Cam? Good. How are you guys doing? Pretty good, man. Um, I'm a fish out of water here where I'm at in Tucson right now. Um, but... You know, I'm trying different foods, learning different things, and uh, that's always good. How about you, Jay? How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing all right. Actually, I, I just realized right now, I don't know where Tucson is. Where is Tucson? Arizona. Mm, it's mm. in Arizona. Um, it's about a couple hours south of Phoenix. It's really south. So much south that on a map, it's further south than San Diego. Those are like okay. my reference points. Gotcha, gotcha. For sure. But we're going to get started with my idea. Now, I want to make mm. something happen this week. And I got inspired by road trips and also got inspired by portable podcast studios. So okay. I want to create something. It's probably going to be in SUVs or minivans. And it's going to be an option that you can put in your car, something extra and something that you can buy online and install. And what I want it to be is a soundproofing that you can just pull up from the ground to the roof that way let's say i want to bump my music but nobody else likes what's what's around me then we can do that let's say you have a child in the back seat of the car and they want to watch frozen they want to watch whatever video movie youtube that they have on but they also hate your music or like i like how i was as a kid i hated when my parents sang i don't know why i just didn't so you could pull that little thing up or maybe have a child in a car seat and they don't have to hear you you just pull that up and they get to sleep uninterrupted <laughs> so how are we going to make this happen because i've seen it on amazon where you can kind of podcast and it'll absorb the noise like a noise dampener uh -huh. so now look my inspiration here is already on a lot of minivans they have it where the chairs can face each other they've had it where there's built-in trash cans i don't think this is too far of a leap what do you guys think so essentially you want like a super advanced, you know, in like limos and taxis where they just shut you off from the driver's side. You just want a super advanced where you don't see, hear nothing. I mean, you could, you could see them if you want, but I don't want to hear them. <laughs> so you basically want a soundproof divider. Exactly. And I want it to work. Yeah. I want a soundproof divider that would work. And then I guess what would accompany that? would be some kind of sound system where you could have at least two different sounds going at the same time. And I think there's a lot of utility here. Okay. I, I, don't, I don't know if this is possible, dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now watch. Okay. Now I'm dreaming big, but imagine this. You move your carpet, you know, there's always the back seat carpet and there's the front seat carpet. You move uh -huh. that to the side and under that there's a lever and you lift that. Maybe you press a button and you lift it and that's going to have the dampener. And then as you lift it past, there's going to be little wings that fly out. Right. And then those wings will have, and I'm gonna go with the cheap one. Let's say you're rolling in a uh, Honda Odyssey. And uh, it's going to have little stickies. Uh, what are they? Suction cups that you can put on the window and then around you or hook up to the seat. And that way it'll mute the sound as much as possible. And the person there could play whatever they want or go to sleep while the rest of the music's playing. And of course, this, I think the car could detect it or you can turn off the speakers. Maybe there'll be an app to go with this. This is not going to be for cars built in the 90s or 2000s. Okay. So hear me out. Why not just have noise canceling headphones? <laughs> now, I with noise canceling headphones. That's a good idea, Cam. I've never actually worn <laughs> noise canceling well, well, headphones. The whole you wouldn't that... need you wouldn't need a divider. Well, I guess if if the driver was to wear noise canceling headphones, that would cause some issues in terms of safety and driving and traffic. Well, no, and... 
Yeah, he's talking about like if he's a passenger and he like wants to record a podcast or something. How can he yeah. do that without like being distracted from everything else? But if you have noise canceling headphones, you're good. But with noise canceling headphones, the sound, the ambient sound of the car and people talking would still get in. Right. So at most, I would oh, want it fair. babies sleeping on one end. You're recording a podcast on the other side of the back seat. Maybe mom is watching her shows on one end and then. We'll say dad's driving and bumping uh, okay. his music in the driver's seat, but they're all separated. You're, you're now, getting this a little would not too, be a close family. You're getting a little <laughs> too ambitious where you're where you're literally sectioning off four parts of the car so each person's in their own little pod. You gotta um, shoot for the moon. <laughs> how I imagine this working more like is um you know those like pull down green screens uh yeah. that you could get on Amazon and all that, um, or Elgato and all that. Uh, you could have one where it's like attached to the floor, right? You, you put like this long, um, you, like in high schools where they have like the pull out projection screen, yeah. kind of like that, yeah. but coming from the from the ground. And then you could go mm -hmm. up and it like hooks onto the ceiling of the car. And then yeah. like you said, Alex, I guess after you pull it up from the back seats point of view they have this thing and then obviously there's holes on the side because not all cars are built the same you'll have wings that the person in the back seat would literally have to open up and attach to the windows uh obviously this has to be all clear because then police will get on having like this giant thing covering all your windows and whatnot so it all has to be clear but i guess somehow this clear tent will also have to have soundproof proofing on it somehow as well but this is you're gonna have to have a big van for this to be able to fit in there or like push all those chairs all the way back now i didn't think about this but if it's clear and me just thinking about like protecting a child in a car seat back there we're not going to be cooking any babies right like we're not going to make it such that the air heats it up. Like we're going to have to make it yeah. work. And well, the, the AC is still back there, I think. Yeah. So I think this could be an option. Maybe let's nix the front seat. Maybe it would be something that it cuts off the front seat to the back seat and then cuts off a quadrant. I would just think that there'd be like a shutter, like in between the drivers and the passengers and then another shutter behind the passengers so then you just got that clear passenger area where there's just you know you got you got the soundproofing down like uh, at least if you were by yourself in the back how i imagine it is that there's like the driver in the driver's seat and then your passenger is in the back seat and then yeah you're in this soundproofed off from the driver and then i also imagine like we could also sell like little soundproofing attachments for your car so you could just put them around so it won't get the sound of all the outside noise um or to the best of its ability so someone could sit in the back seat being able to record or do what they want and then the driver won't be able to hear them or whatever the driver does in the front seat it won't bleed into the back exactly and another useful application there's know it right now offices are wherever you want them to be people have mobile offices fair, fair. so while you're maybe the family's on a road trip but you have to hit up a couple meetings do a cameo <laughs> you can do all that while on your way to yosemite at this point man that is just whoever owns this is just the most doesn't want anything to do with their family type of person <laughs> Well, you know, maybe it's busy stuff because I've even had um, people show up to my training yeah. in uh, RVs and and like travel tra and like travel trailers, and they've just got their family there. Like they're just taking trips because they're able to do that. Right. So I can imagine maybe you know if if you even in a travel trailer you would have something where you could set up the studio in a different way, like. You know what I'm saying? Where depending on what type of car, van, you could get this going. I'm trying to think. I have I have an Infinity G37. I was like, how would I set this up? I could 
I think I would be able to do it to just lock off the whole back. I think the only way it would be able to work is if it was something that that was like the main focus of the car's design. Mm. Like if it was like something that like Tesla made, you know how like they make their their cars. Um, like yeah, everything right. Like, it's designed a, a very spe- specific way for a very specific reason that like, I don't yeah. think like any normal, like manufacturer would implement something like that. Okay. Let's say this would be like, so we, I could see it in the model X. I could see this in the Tesla truck, um, for the back. Cause you're right. This actually supports my idea even more so. Because first off, their air conditioning in Teslas, it's poison proof. You can turn that on, no poison's getting in. Also oh, okay. sealed to water. All that so, yeah, it's very it's very uh deliberate. Um okay. another one I could see what's up? Real quick, Alex. What Cameron just said there kind of put something in my brain and I, I'm starting mm-hmm. to formulate something here. What if instead of this being either like an add-on to a Tesla or a product you could buy and attach. What if we we take this in a completely different direction and what we do is it be kind of more like a rentable like tour bus thing where you rent this thing, you get a driver and the, the minivan or bus or whatever. So we could have multiple sizes. And the idea is you could use this service and have this driver drive you wherever you need to go. But if you need to work on the way or do whatever you need to do on the way, there is like a sound booth area built into this like bus or van that's like in the trunk or in the back where like, you know, like in buses, there's like a bathroom in the back. It's just more of a bigger <laughs> room that's like uh, fully kitted, you know? N- now, I almost wanted to pivot because it just came through my mind. What if you set this up on an airplane? I mean, so if, 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 if we start doing this as like a tour bus rental thing, then yeah, we could put it in like specialty airlines oh, too. Oh my gosh, you're genius. We'll have a vending machine at different gates. Because first off, sometimes people will want it to be soundproof. Another thing is maybe they want to lock themselves out from everybody else. You know, you're on an airplane. You're already uncomfortable. Maybe you drank too much. You want to fart in peace, snort in peace, make your bodily noises without disturbing anybody else. Not even recording a podcast on the plane. You set it up and you automatically feel more comfortable. And you know how sometimes you put headphones in and people on planes ignore it. Well, with this, there's no way. What are they going to do? Knock on your little shell? No, that ain't going to happen. So you're making like a portable noise canceling pod. It's a service. (laughs) Yep. Yeah, it's a service. Mm, Yeah, I mean, like, I feel like that would work. That would work if if it was like a bus or a bigger vehicle or, than like something bigger than like an suv is what i'm saying uh, like a bus or a plane okay. like that i i think it would work there kind of similar to what jay said but uh I we don't can know. pivot okay so we'll, we'll put these greyhounds man they're 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 running lean um charter buses airports where maybe you want to still get work done and you don't have the vip lounges you could uh, rent one of those there. College campuses, that's another one for studying. Even though there is quiet floors on the library, people do not pay attention to that sometimes. And maybe if you can't get a study room during finals week, you could sit there on a campus. So now I've already got different selling locations. We got colleges, we got airports, we got charter buses. Coffee eh? shops. Coffee shops? Uh, well, I think that ruins the ambiance. I think that you might get taken a picture of like, look at this dude at a coffee shop camping out. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it, is it going to be like a pay by the, like every 15 minutes you pay, I don't know, $5 for complete silence? Yeah, that's fair. Like, how do you, how do you make sure that people you know, are only in there for as long as they pay. I think we Mm. would, now we're going to have to attach some electronics. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't want to do per 15 minutes. It feels a little bit nickel and dimey. I feel like per hour would be easier. 
Um, I would say per half hour because I feel like an hour, like not everyone's going to commit to a full hour. I would say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I half think hour, half hour is more reasonable. Yeah, but that is true. Uh, what Cameron said is how are we get how are we enforcing these things? It's not like we'd have like a employee by every single one managing, you know, each location. I think it would have to be a check-in, check-out service where it's timed and then you bring it back and then that's how much it charges on your card or phone. Okay. We could have an app system. If you don't return it, you get charged the amount that it costs. Mm. Kind of like uh, uh, that works. rental video game arcade places or whatever those places yeah, are Yeah, or yeah, uh, yeah. Lime scooters, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then you could also like... Or another option is just like you just make some sort of deal, like yearly deal with the airport. They give you a certain amount of money, and then like as many people can use it as they want, just in and out. Yeah, yeah. like yeah, it could be like uh, some government businesses or whatnot would give us, like Cameron said, like a yearly or a monthly payment, and then it's just there uh, for the, anyone to use, but also we have like the rentable ones out in big cities and college campuses and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. At first, I'm not going to lie to you guys. This idea I felt was a little grasping. Now it feels a little solid. I think yeah. we're getting somewhere here. It was, yeah, it was easier when you think about it, like not in a v not in a car <laughs> right that that's that was the hardest part of that the was concept. the part i was just like uh that's not possible <laughs> i i was kind of coming from the place that i have to do a lot of road trips they uh i have a company car and so they put us all in one and sometimes i'm like i don't want to do the things other people want to do <laughs> so but I think this works a whole lot better in terms of looking at it from a business point of view, especially um, in my own workplace. I would like this if I were doing some kind of online training, which is the usual these days. And I have an open concept office. And honestly, open concept is pretty terrible in terms of trying to focus and buckle down. You have to put some headphones on. So I would love to be able to pop up this tent real quick if I had some kind of presentation or something and then be able to take it down. So you just said something interesting where well, I wasn't thinking this would be like a, like an easy put up, put down thing. I thought this was going to be like a couple ton thing that is placed and like is almost a permanent structure until like we run out of business and they have to take those things out. No, I was thinking more of it, it's slightly portable. Um, I think it would be ha like, you'd have to carry it or something. I don't imagine it having a lot of, uh, I don't imagine it being that mechanical because then the production costs would be too high. Now, I don't know nothing about nothing when it comes to production costs, but I imagine if it's like some kind of transforming thing, it would take too much. But something with maybe you press a button, it pops out. Well, I mean, out. I thought we were ditching the portable idea, and this is like – it's like installed in like cities and in like airports and installed in like, mm -hmm. you know, libraries and stuff. I thought that was the direction we were going. But, I mean, if, if we're trying to make it portable. I see your vision now. No, I yeah, mean, that I could be a thing. That, I was thinking that it was, like, yeah, kind of installed there. Like, you can, like, uninstall it, but it takes, like, time, obviously, not, like, a, a portable experience. Uh, you know. Think of it now, like a phone like a phone booth. Or not a phone right. booth. Uh, like yeah. a picture booth. A picture booth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know okay. what I mean? Like, it's there, yeah, yeah. but you can you can remove it, but it's not like a portable experience in any way. Yeah. I imagine it like those 4D experiences you see in malls, you know what I mean? Like, it's just like this giant pod in like a mall that you could like go up to and rent for a certain amount of yeah. time. Or uh, okay. uh, at an airport, it's like a free service as long as there's still one in use. All right. So I see it now. We're going to have almost essentially soundproof little pods and then i imagine when the user's done and they close it there's gonna have to be some kind of uv light that cleanses everything and bacteria you know what essentially kills all the germs and then it's ready to go again yeah maybe like a disinfectant spray with a nice scent of lemons or something i don't know Okay, lemon scented pods. Now, where 
would we go to get this contract done? I mean, I still think Tesla would be able to make this, but he's in the business of doing really big things like boring company cars. Wait, so you're, so you're basically saying like, what company should we sell this idea to? Yeah. Uh, maybe it would be like, sorry, maybe like, maybe like Bose or like, um, Oh, I didn't even. Yeah. Okay. So there's Bose. Um, Apple now owns Beats. Yeah, Apple. You could do Beats. Uh, and then, oh, pop up recording studios. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Well, well I thought that's recording. what they would be mainly no, used for. No, I know. For. But like yeah. branding it differently, where I'm thinking you could brand it as an office, brand it as recording. Now the commercials playing through my head where I see different people, like the different branding, either Bose, whoever. I see a dude in a suit. I see a woman recording a podcast. I see a teacher who maybe pops into a library and gets it done or a student who doesn't, oh, I didn't even think about this. A student who doesn't have access maybe in his home to a good classroom environment. Let's subsidize this. Let's give it for free to the kids too. We gotta make a good name for ourselves. That's how we get our names out. I would say like do like a maybe like a student discount or something like that for All those right. that like for like for those that are uh, on campus. Yeah, I, there we go. Maybe kind of like, like how you can buy, you know, like Apple products on say like on sale at from uh, the college, like when you go to your college, like. Uh, shop i don't know i don't know what they what you they called it for you guys in college but um, oh, yeah, campus stores or whatever yeah the campus store basically yeah so um something like that i like it all right so this is cool bose make this happen thanks for listening if you have any suggestions or products you'd like to see talked about feel free to write in at at pound games at gmail.com we have a Patreon. If you'd like to join the Pound family, come find us at patreon.com slash we are not game devs. Patrons receive episodes two days early, meaning make this happen gets to your ears that much sooner. If you enjoyed our show, take a second to give us a review. We're on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play Store, and more. If you'd like to catch more of Cam Hawkins, you can find him at dualshockers.com, at the Cinephile Guy, and also on this week's Unlocked which is on all major podcast platforms. Uh, is there any other spot that you would like them to come find you, Cam? Uh, I'm, I forgot. Did you say Twitch? I did not. Go ahead and plug I, the Twitch. Yeah. I stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash the cinephile guy. And I believe you get you, you can see a lot of sweet, sweet rock band stuff going on. I can't believe you go and play that still. That was the one. <laughs> I was like, dang. He yeah, rec down. yeah, yeah. Recently, I've been playing a lot of Rock Band Four. Like, I it came out when I was in college, so I was just like, I don't really have the money to get this stuff. But even though the instruments are expensive, I was just like, I I love Rock Band way too much not to not to, uh, you know, get it while I can, especially because it's being supported to next uh, through Next Gen as well. So, I didn't even know that. All right. Yep, it was just recently announced. So, well, very, very thank cool. you guys. And we'll catch you guys next Sunday with Jay's idea. I guess I'll call it smart remotes. What are we going to do with remotes? All right. Sw smart remotes.